The holidays bring lots of festive food, candy, and drinks, but they don't always put everyone in a holly jolly mood. Some of us have digestive issues. <laughs> you know, they can be a real concern as you're celebrating. Luckily, health and fitness expert Stephanie Mansour has some easy ways to soothe your stomach. We're so happy to have you back with us. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, this is a serious issue, especially yes. for this time of year. And before we talk about what to do if you get bloated after you eat certain foods mm -hmm. or if you get nauseous at other times, I first <laughs> want to start out with taking, you know, kind of an internal compass of, of where you're at. So that's why I have a compass over here. Oh, okay. Um, just so that you you know, it's a friendly reminder that it's really important to look at your diet in whole, not just over the holidays, okay. but what's happening? Do you normally have a lot of bloating or gas, or is it hard for you to go to the bathroom often? Mm -hmm. If so, you may have um, some other issues that you need to address. So I love starting off with a probiotic, so that's yep. something you can easily integrate into your daily life. A multivitamin is also really good. Um, nowadays, if, if you're having IBS, yep. irritable bowel syndrome, you may benefit from going on a low FODMAP healthy eating plan. Now explain what that is and, and these bars here. I opened yeah. one up. Diane and I are going to try one. Yeah, these are delicious. So these are Rachel Paul's uh, food. So these are called Happy Bars and these are a low FODMAP protein bar that they, they give you energy and they have protein in them. But what's really interesting is that there are some specific carbohydrates that are mm -hmm. difficult for your body to digest. So if you want to look into a low FODMAP food plan, you can do that. Talk to your doctor because there might be something else going on besides just getting bloated. You Know, moving really on tasty. here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I love them. Yeah, that's the chocolate chip delight, my anything babe. With, anything with chocolate. <laughs> I know. But if you feel bloated after you eat certain foods and it's yep. not just like a constant thing, then you could benefit from something like a digestive enzyme. So you could take that before you eat something okay. like mashed potatoes with a lot of cream. Or the cheese platter. Yeah, or the oh, cheese yeah, platter. Right. Yeah, yeah, you could take a lactose enzyme as well. Um, and also drinking water is very important, yeah, especially around the holidays. Yes, however, if you are drinking too much water, with your meals, that can prohibit you from digesting your food properly. And I didn't know that until recently. Yes. Yeah, it is a big deal. So you want to try to avoid drinking water 20 minutes During before you're eating and 20 that's minutes really after. Hard for me. Yeah, it's really I know. Hard. Me too. Yeah. yeah. I love but just water. think of drinking half your body weight in ounces of water every day and try to front load that water too. Okay. Um, another thing that can help with bloating is obviously sweating. So I've got my Step It Up with Steph workout DVD here. <laughs> I love that. Um, and then if you have nausea. Yeah, I told yeah. you this. My dad swears by yes. this every single night is ginger yeah. tea. He yes. makes his own ginger tea from fresh ginger. Yes, I love that. So ginger is very soothing on the stomach as is mint so right. mm -hmm. ginger or mint tea um, you know when you're traveling over the holidays even if you're not eating like I get really bad motion sickness sure, yeah. Yeah. So I'm, yeah so I'm constantly you know having these ginger supplements or fresh ginger or ginger tea um, and then finally over the holidays if you it's a really good time to take that pulse and really get in touch with your internal compass and use a little journal to write down what foods are making you feel uncomfortable and yep. bloated or if you're just uncomfortable all the time, then you might have an underlying issue going on. Yeah. yeah. Those are excellent well. tips, Steph. Yeah, good. As I'm always. glad. Yes. Yeah, no, We've got more. That I wouldn't think about. Yes, you know I know. I mean? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, you want to get in tune with yourself. So I have even more tips in the free 21 day challenge that you know about. There you go. <laughs> and you can get on board with that too. The lifestyle tips that we're talking about by signing up for her 21 day challenge. We're posting all the details at abc7chicago.com.